This is the economics report. Prices on China's stock markets have dropped sharply in recent weeks. The Chinese government warned investors about what it called a panic sentiment. The government has introduced measures it hopes will stop the declining prices. In an effort to avoid further losses, hundreds of companies listed on China's stock exchanges filed papers for trading suspensions. Trading in the stocks of more than 1,400 mainland companies were suspended. That is about 40% of the market. The country's central bank promised trades and the government moved to permit insurance companies to invest larger amounts of money in stocks. The government agency that oversees the country's biggest state-run companies told them not to sell shares. Instead, it urged them to buy more. The government also took measures to support stock buying. These include reducing interest rates, lowering the fees charged to buy and sell stocks, and easing rules on how much money traders must deposit in order to buy stocks. Chinese markets reached a peak on June 12 in the year Leading up to that date, the value of stocks traded on Chinese exchanges more than doubled. Share prices increased after the central bank cut interest rates for the first time in more than two years. A new trading link between the Shanghai and Hong Kong exchanges added to increased market activity. But as the market hit a high, the government tightened trading rules. Investors then began to sell their holdings to protect their profits.